Welcome to another video guys. Fishing with my buddy Chad today. Um, our goal is just going to be catching multi-species. Uh, but my main focus is going to be trying to get at least one sheep's head to do a catch and cook. I'm going to explore around a little bit, try to find some fish. Hopefully I find at least one sheep's head because I have this awesome recipe that I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned and hope we get into some action. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Kind of hard to fight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see that thing? <laughs> That thing is a beast. <laughs> Dude, I got him on this outer lip. All right, gonna do that catch and cook. <laughs> Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's big, it's big too. Got it? Is it a sheep's? <laughs> Yay! Oh man, that's a good one. Chad's first sheep's head, guys. It's a good one. <laughs> oh my god, we doubled up, dude. Hell yeah. Check out that sheep's head, guys. Got a monster. Gonna do that catch and cook now. Sheepshead fishing, caught a few, and kept this decent one um, for today's catch and cook. I'm gonna be doing 
kind of a new dish, but kind of popular in um, Chinese cooking or Cantonese cooking. I'm gonna prepare this sheep's head uh, with ginger and scallion, and it's gonna be a poached recipe. Usually, they cook the whole fish and it's presented on the dish. This fish is kind of big. I'm gonna fillet it, um, two fillets, and I'm gonna prepare the dish that way. I already uh, scaled the fish out back, um, so scales won't be flying everywhere in my wife's kitchen. She'll get mad. So the first step is gonna be to fillet it. Got our fillets all nicely cleaned up and washed. Next up will be just to poach them. While they're slowly poaching, we'll get the other ingredients ready. Okay, got this pan out with some water in it. Just want enough water to cover the entire uh, fish, both pieces. Gonna let that heat up to a low boil. Once it reaches that point, I'm gonna lower the heat and we're gonna put, put the fish in. Okay, we have the water at a low boil. So what I'm gonna do, add in the fillets. Skin side down. Gently lay them in. And then reduce your heat. I'm going to let that cook really slow. So while the fish is cooking, I went ahead and um, prepared some fresh ginger. I removed the skin and got this little chunk. And cleaned up and washed some scallions or green onions. Got about three stalks here. And what we're gonna do now is chop them up a certain way and uh, get them ready for the next step of adding it to the fish. For the green onions, I just like to cut them in like two inch long pieces. And once you have these pieces, you can cut them the vertical length way to thin them down a little bit. With the ginger, I'm gonna cut them into fairly thin flat pieces. And then go back in and cut those down to thin, long strips. And that's what you should have. Just remove the fish from the pot, and this is what we have. So the, these two fillets cooked for about 10 minutes, and um, they're just about right. Now you wanna add, um, you wanna grab a small ladle, and you wanna add some of the broth or the stock into the plate with the fish. I say about three spoonfuls would be good. And that'll help create the sauce that we're gonna make later. Next step, got this burner going and this pan. I'm using the same one, I just cleaned it out a little bit. You can use a different pan or the same one, just make sure it's dry. And we're gonna add about one tablespoon of oil. I'm using rice oil here. And what we're gonna do is um, heat it up really hot until you start to see some smoke come up. Okay, we got the oil really hot. And what you want to do next is slowly pour most of the oil straight onto your plated fish. And it should sizzle a little bit like that. Okay, 
Okay, so with that leftover oil remaining, little tiny bit that was still in the, in the pan, what we're gonna do is take the ginger that we chopped up, throw it right in there. And let it sizzle for a little bit until one side gets a little brown. And once that's cooked up a little bit, go ahead and throw in the green onions, the scallions. Let that cook up for a little bit on one side. Pop it around a little bit. Okay, so second to last step is adding the soy sauce. I like to use two kinds. This kind, the Kikkoman. This can be found at almost every grocery store. And the next kind I like to use, or the second one, is this Golden Mountain Seasoning Salt. And you wanna add a generous amount of both to your fish dish. Up. I'm just going to add a few pinches of this Himalayan pink salt. Just evenly on top of the whole plate. And that's it, we're done. right on top of the rice. Get a big spoonful of fish, piece of ginger, piece of onion. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Got some rice. So good. Thanks for watching, guys.